Hey guys, the lighting's not the best, but this video should be super quick. I'm going to just show you the Ostomy supplies that I got for my second order. The first order wasn't exactly correct, so today it should be making up for that. I also tried to order a lot of stuff just because I'm hoping that this will be my last order before I have my ostomy reversed and then I won't need any more products for this from this company anymore. As you can see, I did already open it because yesterday was change day. So we're gonna get into it nevertheless. So the first thing I got, I got two of these, two of these Brava ostomy support belts and I think I got them both in small, I did. And I am not that big for an adult. I feel like I'm more of a tiny adult and this is barely fit and it only fit if I like stretch it. So, let me show you. It doesn't fit like this, but if I, basically I have to make it super tight in order for it to fit, but I do have two of them. I'll probably end up giving them away but for now, I might might need it, who knows. Next, I have the No Sting Barrier Film. So I actually got this in the spray, as well as the little wipe. And this is just a, kind of like a protective film that serves as a barrier between your skin and your actual bag or whatever you put on next, your bag or your seal or your paste. Uh, this is what you would put on before that just to protect your skin. It's also a little bit sticky. That way it kind of provides like a little bit more of an adhesive. So I did order a lot of those. On top of that, I ordered multiple boxes of adhesive remover. This stuff I go through really quickly. It's um, It comes in a spray as well. It's best as a spray, but you also use more as a spray. So I just got these. Uh, the spray was provided by the hospital, but my supply company doesn't actually have the spray. I ordered like four pairs of scissors. I've already taken them out now because I created like a little to go bad, which I'll show in another video, but I did order more scissors. I also learned that you can't travel, you can't put certain scissors in a carry-on. So I think it's like four inches, which you cannot put in a carry-on. So I tried to abide by those rules. I ordered two boxes of stoma powder. So stoma powder can be very helpful, especially for those of us with those like peekaboo stomas and ones like they create the extra mucus. Um, I find that stoma powder is super helpful. Also, the Ostomy nurse gave me a name for it, but it's basically like a small opening between your stoma and your skin. And I used to use the powder to kind of go in between that little crevice. Now I don't because it's, it closed up. It kind of healed more since surgery. But when I was like first post-op, that was very helpful. And he actually taught me that too. This I probably won't be using. I more than likely end up giving this away, but it is um, adhesive. And I've never seen it before, but I saw that my supplier was offering it. So I did order it and I just think that it might be a little too strong for my skin. So I ended up immediately after I ordered it, I was like, you know something, I really don't need it, but I'll let them send it anyway. I have a bottle of, I have another bottle of this. So two large bottles of M9. And then I have a box of the little ones and like the little drops. And I will let you know how that works out. I have been using it a little bit, but we're gonna talk about that in a separate video. Then I also have uh, these Ostomy pouch deodorants. I haven't used this before, but I did use the lubricant. The lubricant does not work that well, and I think that this is the same brand, so I don't anticipate it working the best, but we shall see. So the last two things that I got, you're gonna be kind of surprised by. 
because uh, this is something I did a video on, like my second or third video was on this particular bag and I was very disappointed, but it does, it is different. So I ordered four boxes of the Colaplast and Ceramio Convex Flip. Um, so this is actually that Sincera Mio with the star wafer. I want to say wafer, but I feel like I shouldn't even necessarily use that. So this is a one piece, but it has a star that's uh, created more so for bulges, for hernias and things like that. Being like a curvy girl, I just figured maybe this would work a little bit better for me. And to pair this, I actually bought the... Um, Brava, Brava Barrier Extenders, I think they're called, but, um, Elastic Barrier Strip. So, basically these, I've been pairing it with the bag, and instead of the adhesive just ending at the star, I just put it around it on my skin, or it's more so over like that. And then it just extends it for a longer wear and a better attachment. But 10 of these come in the boxes that my supplier sends and they sent four boxes. So I'm really hoping to get at least three days out of each one. Granted, we're already off to a bad start because I had to redo one yesterday. So I'm hoping to get three days out of each one and then I would have extra, hopefully, after surgery because I'm hoping that if everything, if all the timing aligns well, then I will just get my ostomy reversed in that time. But those are all the things I ordered, excluding the seal. Um, so I do use seal for a better hold and they were on back order. And then I also ordered tape or paste. And I love the paste. I use the paste all the time. It's very protective, it's very helpful. And I believe the paste was on back order or I either forgot to order it, but I do have like four bottles left. So I think that that might take me through my duration of having an ostomy. So I don't foresee that being an issue. I hope that it's not knock on wood. But yeah, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this is helpful for your next order. Let me know in the comments below if it is, and I will see you in the next one.